Have you ever watched TV or been at some big event and seen someone holding up a sign with this word and these numbers, John 3, colon 16? I suspect all of us have at one time or another seen that. But can you quote the gospel verse this refers to? Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and the reason I bring this up is because that particular verse can be found in the gospel at Mass today. And if you didn't know it by heart, it goes like this. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. I have to admit that while that's a good verse, I think the one that follows it is just as important. It goes like this. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. I like that verse a lot because I grew up, as I suspect many of you did as well, thinking that God was just itching to catch me in doing wrong and then punish me. I have a clear memory of being about five years old, misbehaving, chasing my cousin Ronnie around the dining room table, slipping and hitting my head and crying. And my father's words ring in my head to this day. See, God punished you. I grew up thinking of God as a policeman, judge, and executioner all rolled into one. So today's gospel is a good one to counteract that negative image of God. God doesn't want to condemn. He gives us a choice. Do we want him or something else? And if we choose something else to be more important to us than God, then we've condemned ourselves. Yet, God's mercy is there for the asking.